When creating your template, you need to consider what role you'd like legends to take in your project environment. Legends are good for documenting existing Revit content as well as creating views that can be placed on multiple different sheets. In this instance, I'd like to create two different legends. One will be door elevation legend and the second one will be a general notes legend. To begin, move your cursor over to the project browser, find the word legends and right click on the word legends. Select new legend. For a name, this is going to be our door legend. So we're going to call this door elevations. Select on OK and this will open up the door elevations legend. We can see that under the project browser if you select on the plus next to the word legends. From here, we want to place in one of our door elevations. Underneath the annotate tab on the ribbon, move your cursor over until you see the word component. Next to the word component, if you click on the down arrow, there'll be an option for legend component. Select on legend component. On the options bar going across the top of the screen, you'll notice that there's a pull down list next to the word family. And if you select on that pull down list, you'll have a variety of different Revit families that are loaded into this project that you can choose from. In this case, look for your doors. Choose single flush 36 inch by 84 inch. For the view, make sure that you have elevation front chosen. If floor plan is chosen, you'll notice that the door looks the way that it would in a floor plan view. Choose elevation front and then place this in your legend. You could continue to place these doors if you had multiple doors loaded into the project and it would show every variation of door that's in the project that you place in the view. Next, we want to add text to the side of the door. To do this, hit escape on the keyboard a couple of times, come up here to the word text, move your cursor down into the drawing area. You could choose whichever size text that you wanted to off of the list. In this case, I'm going to go with the 332nd Arial. Click and then type in the way that you'd like this door elevation to be labeled. In this case, I'm going to keep this simple and I'm just going to call this door elevation A. This could be this door size or any way you would typically annotate your door elevations. You could continue this process by placing in new pictures of the doors and then placing text next to each of those doors. When completed, you could then drag this door elevations legend out onto one of your sheets and then place it on any sheet that needs to have the door elevation legend. We can do a similar thing with our general notes. Once again, move your cursor over into the project browser, right click on the word legends and new legend. In this case, we're going to call it general notes and select on OK. Once again, it gives us another blank drawing area where we could come up underneath annotate and select on text and then begin to type in our different general notes. In this case, I'm going to change this from being 3 seconds of an inch, quarter inch aerial, and I'm going to give it the title general notes. And from here, you could continue to use your text to put the numbers one, two, three for multiple different lines of general notes underneath and then type in the general notes you want to associate by default to your typical project. Legends are good for two separate things. One is documenting those conditions that might show up in each project. Also, they're very good for those notes that may show up in every project, ideally in multiple views. Take a look at your standard set of drawings and then make that decision. What kind of objects do I need to document? Which kind of notes do I need to have on multiple sheets? If these occur multiple times throughout your projects, the legend is probably the best type of view that you can use for documenting these conditions.